This is Lee with 82 Game and Dwell. And this will be the third video over Midway Solitaire, the deluxe edition designed by Joseph Miranda and uh, produced by Decision Games. <clears throat> Copyright 2021. And we are in the, let's see, I wouldn't say it's the middle. It's the start, really. Only had a couple of turns. So, uh, just to kind of show you um, what we've had. Okay, the first, first turn, we had the Victory Spirit that was played uh, or drawn from the cup, which uh, really didn't have the Japanese do anything. And then we had, uh, which allowed the Saratoga to be repaired uh, <clears throat> because the Japanese didn't do anything. And uh, so the Americans really uh, were able to move, uh, I think, let's see. Did they move the task force? No, what I did is I opted to uh, repair the Saratoga, which was able then to move or join a task force and then move from, uh, let me show you over here. Um, as a result, it uh, joined task force 11, which has a destroyer group with it. Um, and then uh, they were then, uh, I think in the next turn or so, they moved to the Aleutians up there um, on their way to get to Pearl. Um, that's the way the game's set up. So uh, from they can move from home base to home base. And so that's what they did. Okay, and then we had, uh, well, at some point we had the uh, MI which is the Midway operation drawn and uh, the uh, Midway in invasion group moved, which was the invasion group, the first carrier force, the uh, strike force, the main body, and then the guard. They all were able to move to, to uh, uh, places. Um, let's see. And another thing that happened was the Americans were able to, the Americans, the uh, United States was able to uh, uh, acquire some more bombers for Australia. I should say it now, I guess, but it's mainly the uh, United States Navy fighting here, but Australia's throwing its hand in uh, with a few units, so. Okay, so, um, the Americans were able to use intelligence to look to see what the Japanese would do next. And so this is where we're at. And this is what the Japanese are going to do next or moving toward uh, Port Moresby. So, okay, so we've got the, uh, uh, Japanese operational determination segment. Okay. And then we have the uh, search segment on the activated route and uh, see if there's any unspotted uh, task forces within three spaces of a base. So we're looking down here in this area. Okay, and we have a task force down here that's not spotted, but it's on in the home base. So, um, and it's not, uh, if we count the spaces, we got one, two, th three, and we need one more. So, there's none of that. Um, nothing here. So basically, uh, we don't have any, uh, even, uh, uh, we don't have a K-1 
carrier's track force that's uh, that's out of port yet, and then uh, all of her, all of their task forces, uh, there's not any for the Japanese, so we don't have to do any of that. So next we have movement, and uh, so with the movement, we're going to have an instant marker pulled uh, because the Japanese are going to move. And uh, we've got, uh, uh, let's get down here. I might want to move. Let's see how close can I get. Okay. And then we'll pull that up like that. Okay. So here's the movement. Okay. So uh, if I can. Surely you can see that, but okay. See, uh, so we've got invasion and cut. Let's see, is that right? Yeah, we've got invasion and covering force. So we don't have a we don't care have a carrier. So it's all going to be right. We got invasion here, and we've got uh, covering. So let's roll for both of those. Okay, so we'll do the uh, invasion first. I rolled a six, which means they're going to move two spaces. There's my six. So um, the invasion is going to move here and then here. So I'm going to put it right there. Uh, so you can see where that went. Okay, now we're rolling for the uh, covering force. I rolled a one, so they only move one space. The covering force got kind of left behind. Um, but uh, they're actually in Rabal. So. Okay. All right, so that take care of the movement. Now what we have to do is we have to draw um, for an instant. Uh, the thing about this, uh, this stand I'm using here, um, it shakes a lot. Okay, we've got an incident, and it's a submarine, which means that one of one of these two groups have encountered a submarine. Okay, so let's see if I can find out. Uh, let's see, that's a special. Where's the instant marker? But that's, uh, let's see. It's in here in the book. Okay. So, submarine have drawn during the Imperial Japanese Navy movement segment. A task force may be subject to a submarine attack and drawn. Okay. So it says all in friendly task forces in the in the space closest to enemy home base on the active route are spotted. And one task force in that space is subject to a submarine attack. Now, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know if they can do that in the home base. That's something I got up. Uh, let's 
Seward base. Okay, let's see if it says anything about base. Um, I guess they can. So that means this one here is going to be flipped to spotted, which is good for the Americans. So we know that there's a uh, task force in Rabaul. So that means we want to try to try to attack there if we can. Right, so I don't think it says you can attack in a home but uh, when they're in a base. They're not, it's not like they're safe, safe or something maybe. See anything about that? Doesn't say anything about not being able to do that. Okay, so we've got this submarine incident. Okay, and so it's going to be uh, possibly attacking the invasion uh, uh, task force. Okay, so you perform anti submarine warfare for each. Carrier, light carrier, destroyer unit in the task force. Okay, so we don't know what's in the task force. So all we have to do is we have to go over here to the MO invasion. Right here. Okay, and I'm going to have to look at these to see what we have. Okay, so what we have is transports. And a, a cruiser. Now, cruisers are not listed under here. So, uh, we don't get any anti-submarine. Uh, okay. So, the submarine attacks one naval unit. Alright, so... We're rolling to see if an American submarine has penetrated the home, the Rabal and is able to sink. I rolled a three. Okay, and this might be up. No, I don't think it's on here, is it? Yeah, it's not on here. Um, so. Here's where it talks about the submarine uh, right here incident, okay? And so if you look, it says, okay, four, under four here. Uh, let's see. Okay, if the result is less than or equal to the number printed on the marker, less than or equal to, okay, on the marker, I've got a one. So I, fa I, I failed. Uh, but succeeded in getting it, um, in getting it, uh, uh, spotted, which is important. Okay. So this goes back in the cup. Um, and we move on. Okay, so now we have, uh, let's see, we've gone, I didn't even really do much here, but uh, so we got the movement and we have the U United States Navy reaction segment. Um, that's uh, following them. Uh, what's up there? And let's see, I'll give you a better view of what's up there. Uh, so we'll move this here. So, uh, there's a list of uh, the things that you just follow the sequence. So, 
Uh, it's a lot like um, you've got um, some of that with the um, D-Day um, uh, games that uh, Decision put out. Um, let's see, you got uh, D-Day at uh, Iwo Jima, D-Day at Tarawa, so forth. So, so we're at the U.S. reaction segment of the uh, movement. So, oops. Okay. So now, let's see what the U.S. is, how they're going to react to this. Okay. So what we have is we've got here at uh, Port Moresby and the Australia home base we could possibly do something. So let's see what what the reaction is going to be. Um, all right. Okay, so I can launch any United States Navy naval aircraft, bombers, and fighter units assigned to a carrier. We okay, don't have any of that. I don't think so. See, Task Force 44, all it has is a cruiser. So uh, I can launch uh, land. Uh, okay, well. Let's see. Let's see. So I can't launch from a base. Okay, but I can launch cap. So I don't have I don't have any fighters. So these are all all I have is bombers on the route. Okay, so we're gonna have no reaction. So now we have the air unit launch segment. Okay, so um, what we have here is we have. Um, Okay, so <clears throat> what we have Okay. What we have here let's see if we can get a little bit here if that makes any difference. Not really. Okay, we're gonna go back. I've got this drawer that sits right kinda smack dab here in the middle of my table so it affects my uh, ability to uh, uh, position my camera okay so so we can actually do that okay Okay, so we've got the uh, attack priority chart here. Uh, we got the air mission uh, determination table. And so this is what we have to do. We've got these units here uh, at Rabal. Okay, we've got this fighter, uh, another fighter, okay, and then two bombers. And we want to send them over here to Fort Moresby. 
Okay, now this one here, these two could fly. One, two, three, four. They could fly there, but we're gonna, it's actually we're going to the closest one, I think. So, all right, so what we have to do is we have to roll over here. Uh, on uh, this, uh, over here, so. Does that make it easier to see? The line on, I think the line is to, that doesn't help. Okay. Um, all right, so what we'll do is we're going to go with this one first. Okay. Uh, Jensen, uh, G3M bomber, land bomber, and just got a range of four. And let's roll to see what it does. I got a one. Um, and it's a land, so it's gonna no launch. Okay, so this one doesn't do anything. Get these others over here. So that one goes back. He doesn't launch. Okay, so let's do the other bomber. Let's see what they do. Same thing. No launch. And then we have the fighters. Six. Um which would be intruder. There is no intruder. So that one doesn't do anything. Four, we'd have an escort, but we don't have any bombers. So there we go. That's all of that. So nothing occurred there regarding that. Um, so now we go to the next uh, phase. Um, let's see here. We go to mutual combat. We don't have mutual return something we don't have. We go morale. We don't have because the Japanese haven't lost any ships. Uh, so we begin to go logistic segment for the Imperial Japanese Navy. Okay. They don't have any damaged ships. Don't need to have any units that are re reduced. You know. So there's no need to repair anything. So, okay. So now we go to the uh, US phase. And uh, that's up there. So we go here. Yeah, we got a new addition here. We got, uh, this is Frankie. He's my... Nomenstein, or you could call him a Franken Gnome, whichever way you want to go. Uh, picked him up at uh, Dollar Tree. Thought he was uh, quite interesting there. So, Halloween Gnome. I had a uh, <clears throat> one that uh, was uh, dressed up like Dracula, and uh, I took it. To actually give to my girlfriend and she's got a little Aussie and uh, that dog's like a spider monkey and I had the bags and, I, and it was in a bag plastic bag with some other stuff and I set it on the couch he jumps up there on the couch and stuffs his head inside the bag and just grabs a hold of that like oh this is mine and takes off with it well though that's not designed for <laughs> For a dog, so it didn't take him long to destroy that little thing. Well, it was it was twice the size of that, so uh, it was one of the three dollar ones. And these little uh, wind up uh, toys. 
Same thing, I got those uh, at uh, Dollar Tree too. Uh, but uh, I'd do something with my grandkids with them. I got three grandkids, so. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the uh, American, or I should say U.S. Navy. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, medicine I take causes nasal issues, runny nose, and stuff like that. All right. Let's see what uh, the U.S. Navy's going to do. And it has to be on the route uh, that was activated. So it's going to be down here in. Uh, the uh, Port Moresby area. So, okay, so on the activated route, I can launch carrier based bombers and fighters against spotted task forces. Okay, we got a spotted task force, but I don't have any uh, carrier in that area. The carriers are down in New Caledonia down here. I think I've got, uh, let's see, that's where 17, yeah. That's where Fletcher's at, and he's got the Yorktown and Lexington. Um, and he's not on that route. He's on the Solomon, they're in the Solomon's area, not the Port Moresby. So... And they're too far away anyways. And then I can I can then launch uh, fighters if I have any. I don't have any fighters down here. So uh, I could launch fighters for a cat, but I don't have any. So we move to the next, uh, which is... Uh, uh, let's see, that should be seven, right? Six, okay. Um, oh, no, 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 I'm on the wrong thing here. I need to go back over here. That's not what they do. Okay, so we're on G1. Oops, went dark. Okay, so we're on G1 up there. Okay, it says, uh, I can reorganize the task force. I can create a new task force, recruit reinforcements, replace a uh, Naval aircraft, replace a land aircraft, replace a coastal defense. So we're going to recruit. So what we do is we select one unit in the United States Task Force uh, reinforcement uh, over here. So, see, I've got to put this down. Take away that. See, I've got this big uh, poster up here. That uh, is causing uh, reflections if I don't put the light here. All right, so we've got uh, these are reinforcements here. Um, but it says I can. Okay, select one unit. So. I can place it either in West Coast or Pearl Harbor home base. So I could do a bomb. I could do some bomb. That's a let's see. That's a fighter. I got some destroyers there. This one here. Oh, that's a battleship. Yeah, let's put this battleship here at Pearl Harbor. 
All right, so we put the battleship at Pearl Harbor. Okay, because we're going to have Task Force 11 up there that's got the Saratoga. And this would be excellent with that battleship, battleship with the Saratoga. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that's the G1. So now we go to G2, which is intelligence. Okay, we can do a naval air search, select one U.S. Navy, CV, BB, or CA. Select a single space within two spaces of that unit. Okay, don't have that. Seaplane search. Okay, I don't think we have, we don't have a, let's see, we don't have a CV. Yorktown and Lexington. You know, they're all in this range of two. Okay, so I don't know where. I don't have that. I don't have that. Okay, so we don't have that. Okay, it says select one of the following. Okay, so what we'll do is we're just going to randomly pick the, uh, for the intelligence. We're going to pick out of the, the cup here so we know what they're going to do next. This will be the next one. Okay, so the next one is going to be the um, Solomon. Uh, so that'll be the next one that's going to happen. Solomon. Okay, so now we move on to the operation segment. Okay. So I can select one route. And move any and all United States Navy Task Force or independent naval units using the naval movement rule. Okay, so we want to move because we know that the uh, Solomon operation is coming next. So we're going to move Task Force 17 down here. Fletcher has orders. So, yeah, Fletcher has orders to move up to support the Solomons. So we've got, um, let's see, movement. What do we got in there? I think we can move two spaces. Um, what's in Task Force 17? Yeah. Well, we do have a cruiser, but no. Uh, we don't have a battleship, so we can move two spaces. So we move up here to the Solomons is where we're at. There we are. To support the Solomons. Okay. All right, so we moved. But then we got to draw one of these um, instant markers. And what do we draw? Oh, we draw the submarine. Okay. Now, he's not spotted though, but I don't think that matters. Okay, so let's go over here and see. Maybe, maybe it does. Okay, so they're spotted. Oh, sorry. What happens is they're spotted. Okay. They're spotted. So now what we do is we do anti-submarine warfare. So we've got... Uh, 
Okay. So we've got CVLs, CLs, and destroyer units. Okay, so we've got... All right, we've got one destroyer fleet. Okay. Yeah, we've got a group of destroyers. Okay. So we've got to roll. Let's see what it says. Okay. It's right here. Okay, well, we have to roll. Uh, okay. One or two, the submarine aborts. Three through six, the submarine gets through the screen and may attack. Okay. I rolled a three. So we got through. Okay. All right, so he attacks one naval unit. Roll one dot six if the result is less than or equal to the number printed on the marker. That target. Receives it. One hit. Resolve the hit using the procedure in 9.4.3. Okay. So we got to get a one or a two because, see, that has a two on it. So, so you got a two. All right. So, got a four. All right. So, no effect. So that goes back in the cup. So, but they're spotted, which is not good. <clears throat> okay. Then it says, okay, launch any in range carrier based. Naval carrier based air units conduct strikes against spotted task forces, Japanese or island bases. All right, so what we got here, since they're spotted, these guys are spotted. They're going to be attacked by these guys. There's, uh, let's see, two bombers and a fighter um, coming in. Um, they're not on yet. So this is what's coming. Uh, they need to send something in reply, but also, what do we got? We've got the Lexington and the Yorktown. So, all right, let's see what we've got here. This is the, that's the Yorktown. Of course, it says that. So, what we have is we've got a fighter, a uh, dive bomber, torpedo bomber. Okay. So, torpedo bombers can't attack land, but these can. These two could attack land <clears throat> targets. So, these two are actually going to go back. They don't have any purpose. They're not going to be able to help. Uh, so, all right. So, what we want to do is we want uh, these two to be cap. Okay, so I'm going to put them right there over that. And these other two are going to go attack uh, Rabal. They got a range of two. Okay.
I don't think they don't have any. Yeah, but they can't. Solomon can't. Uh, Psalms 23, 3 and 4. Okay, so the Japanese are not able. They're not able to send anybody. But... This fighter could actually uh, become Cap. So let's roll for that. So actually, we're looking at over here, uh, right here. Um, I might have to put the light on that. Okay, so you can see right here, we've got the land uh, aircraft fighter. So one or two, he's going to become cab, escort, 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 and then intruder. Uh, what's this intruder? What's the intruder about? Intruder. Let's see. Let me check that out. What's the, uh, intruder. Should be in here, but... Uh, says here there should be something here about intruder uh, let's see if it says anything in here Intruder. It's like, what is intruder? Let's see here. Says air units may not enter enemy home bases. I guess that's during movement. Where does it talk about? What does it talk about what the intruder means? Let's see if it says anything in here. I understand what the intruder, the intruder means. Somebody can throw that in the comments. It's not affecting me right now. I haven't rolled it yet. Um, I was just, I'm just curious about what what it is. It's this heavy fighter. They don't know. Maybe maybe somebody can help me out that or I have to go on to Board Game Geek and look. Um, I'm trying to
trying to figure out what that intruder means over here. I don't know what that means. Oops, I kind of see this last one here. Number six is, uh, I think that's coming from this thing here. Yeah, see. But it says intruder. Escort, 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 intruder. I guess that would be... It didn't, why wouldn't it just be attack? What's intruder mean? Okay. Somebody help me out. Put in the comments, because I'm just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm having a brain fart or something here. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find out if this fighter is going to, that's why I had this over here. Okay, so let's roll to see what the fighter does. And I rolled a two. So a two is gonna put the fighter in cap. So he's gonna be out here protecting uh, the uh, the base, Rabal. Okay, so these two dive bombers, Dauntless, SBDs, are come, going to be coming in for an attack. And the thing is, their attack is only a one. If you see that there, uh, hold that up here. It's a one. They got a one. So, okay. All right. <clears throat> so, Okay, so land-based operations aren't conducted yet, which I don't, I'm not going to have any land-based. Uh, so, okay, for each space containing both Imperial Japanese and U.S. Navy, that can resolve the combat procedures. Okay, so we're going over here to combat. Let's see if it, what this thing does with it. Combat, combat, it just goes into combat, yeah. Okay, air to air step. Fire all air units, air combat factor at enemy units. Cap fighters may fire at attacking fighters and bombers. Escorting, which is escort or intruder, may fire only fire at cap fighters, okay. So intruder is where I guess they're going to be escort, not escort, but uh, they're going in to attack maybe. That's all I can think of. Okay, doesn't apply right now though. All right, so what we have is we have this fighter here uh, up against these two uh, two bombers, and he's got to pick a uh, set of bombers. There's more than one uh, bomber there. Okay, this is like a a, a wave. Okay, and the same thing with here. We've got a, a group of uh, Zeros, A6M Zeros. Uh, they're gonna attack. They've got. A, they're only gonna be able to attack one group. So, okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see, com where's the combat? Is there a combat table here? No, not there. Air combat table anywhere? No, I don't see one. There's not one on this chart. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're just rolling and we're comparing the... Um, Attack fact, attack number, okay, so we can just, how come I don't have any light over here, what's the deal? Looks like it's freaking dark. Now this is in the way, so we're going to, okay, I don't need that. Okay, so this unit here. As an attack factor of four. That's a zero. Okay. Now, he's going to attack the Yorktown planes. And they've got a defense or an attack of one. 
So, all right, here we go. We're going to roll the dice, and we're going to find out what happens here. So the red dice is for the Japanese. The uh, green dice is for the U.S. Navy. Okay, so we got a, a one for the Japanese, which means they're going to reduce the Yorktowns, and the three is just a miss for the Navy there. All right, so this is reduced. Okay. All right, so. All right, so now what we have is we've got we got past that. Now we've got the uh, um, Rabal uh, anti-air uh, that we've got to go through. So, all right, so we did the air-to-air. Anti-air, fire all ground and naval units, combat factors and enemy air units. So there's not any... Uh, Covering, let's see, that's going that way. So nobody, nobody's there except for this base here. So, and it says fire at enemy, let's see. Okay, at enemy air units. Okay, so we're gonna fire twice. Okay, we're gonna fire at uh, the Lexington group first. I got a one, they take a hit, because that's, a, you got a five there. Okay, and then the Yorktown may just lose their their bombers. And I rolled a six, so they're okay. But if you notice here, they got zero and zero now, so they're gonna be ineffective. They've got to return to base. They're not or actually back to their carriers. Uh and so that's gonna be oops. Um, so that was, that was not, uh, that didn't help us. So now I've got, uh, ineffective, uh, bombers against, uh, land units. They can still fire at, uh, naval units. Okay. Uh, but, uh, that, uh. Uh, these guys are cap. Okay, so now we go. The land units don't have any. Uh, um, okay. Okay, so we can redeploy a task force. And we're going to redeploy task force number 11, which has the Saratoga in it down here to Pearl. Okay, so they moved to Pearl. Right and then I can actually move uh, planes. could move. We're going to move this, uh, this, uh, well, he needs to stay, I guess. Well, no, he's a bomber, but he can't really go very far. If he was at Port Morrisville, he'd have to be able to go into Rabaul. So, yeah, I'm going to move him. I don't know if he has to stay. I don't think he does. 
I'm gonna move him up here like that. Okay, so that's just the rebase. They can actually move double their range, so he but they can't go through a base, an enemy base. So he didn't have. He could, I guess, move over to New Caledonia and then move up to Solomon. That way, you get to Solomon's. Okay, so now we go through our logistics. We can repair naval units, repair and damage Navy aircraft, select the all reduced uh, naval aircraft at either Pearl Harbor or West Coast home base. But they've got to be in either Pearl or West Coast. All right, so that is not going to help us. All right, so now we go to administrative phase. And in that phase, oops. Whew. excuse me. that phase. It's going to be at the start here somewhere. There it is. Okay, it says move the operation marker that is currently uh, in the sequence play track to the uh, operation marker display already displayed display. Flip all spotted markers to their non-spotted side. So we move, let's just show you this here. So this goes from here to here. And then down here, we've got these spotted ones. So uh, these units here, uh, this is like this. These guys, I guess are still flying cap. And this is flipped back over to not spotted. So, and that's it. So that's the end of uh, another turn. We actually had a little bit of combat. Um, so that was shown. Um, and, uh, I gotta check about this intruder and also about uh, Cap. If they, they, they should return probably back to their uh, and land. I think that's probably in here. Let's see. Um, All surviving missionaries, both sides must return. Okay. Yeah, I would say that they they would go back to uh, back to their carrier and land. Okay. So the next one that's going to happen is the Solomons. With the U.S. intelligence, they're breaking the Japanese code. Um, they're able to do that. So, I like the um, system. The uh, I guess you call it the AI system. The the uh, game controlled. I guess. Um, system. Oh, excuse me. Um, you don't know what they're going to do. You know. I mean, 
just like historically, you know, the United States has the the edge because they know ahead of time. <coughs> Excuse me. Ahead of time, some of the movements, but they won't know what, you know, always what is coming, but something's coming. <laughs> so, and talking about that first fight, uh, air fight, air combat we had. If we look, uh, if we take a look here in the book, we've got a pretty good uh, illustration. Where are they? Oops. Looking for the planes. There they are. Okay. So if we take a look. All right. All right, so what we had, okay, we had the zero, okay, and if you look, the speed of the zero is 332 miles per hour, okay, and they're armed with two 20 millimeter cannons uh, in the fuselage, and then two more. They got machine guns, 7.7 millimeter machine guns in the wings. Okay. And I can carry two light bombs or a drop tank. All right. That's the A6M. Oh, this is the Zeke, not the Zero. Wow. Okay. It's a Zeke. My, my. Oh, well, it no, it says it's better known as the Zero. So. I thought the Zeke was, it was a different, uh, plane altogether. So we're looking at a speed of 332. Now, if we look at the Douglas Dauntless SBD, okay, um, right here, the speed, the speed, if you look at the speed there, it's 250 miles per hour. So, you know, that's 80, well, what's that, a difference of 80 miles per hour? And its armament is two fifty cal and f fixed forward, and then two thirty cal to the rear. Um, so you got the pilot, and you have the gunner, radio operator. So the zero or the Z, because it's called here, A6M, Mitsubishi, was just too fast. That's why they're able to shoot those Dauntless down. Um, only thing about the Zero, though, it, it wasn't, uh, they didn't have armor uh, protecting, protecting like the, uh, the Wildcat. Um, Um, so, you know, uh, the Wildcat here, if you look, the Wildcat's, uh, 320, so it's, it's slower, okay, but it's got 60, uh, or 66, 50 cali caliber, uh, machine guns in the wings, so three on each side, um, but the weight almost 8,000 pounds, okay, look over here. This is 6,000 pounds. Uh, so, uh, the American planes had some, some armor, some protection, the Japanese planes, uh, they were designed to, for speed and maneuverability and uh, not for protecting the pilot. That was not the emphasis. So that was a weakness of the Zero coming up against some of the lighter uh, fighter 
planes of aircraft that's going to come along. Um, and the other th thing was that uh, the Japanese lost a lot of their experienced pilots at Midway and uh, also at uh, the carrier battles down in the Solomons, the South Pacific. So that loss really hurt them because they, they didn't have the same training system as uh, the United States did. Um, United States will take a pilot that got some experience and send them home and let them train the new pilots, you know, uh, with uh, what they knew. The Japanese didn't do that. The Japanese just, uh, they kept their pilots mainly, they kept their pilots out there flying and fighting. And, well, you know, sooner or later your number's going to be called and you're going down. But uh, that just gives you an example of how easy it was, especially at this time, 1942. And that's why it was so lopsided there in that fight down here in Rabaul. And also Rabaul, man, they've got they've got a strong, um, if you look here, um, oops, they've got a strong anti-aircraft defense. Let's see what the other one, same thing with that. Okay, um, if you look at the rule book here, well, there it is. Look at the very star here. Okay, that was air, air comp. Air combat factor, anti-aircraft, basically. It's the top left. Okay, this is showing a two. But uh, Rabal has a... Man, they've got a... a uh, let's see what they got here. A five. You know? Um, Port Marsby's only got a three. So... Uh, Rabal's a little tough nut to crack. There... And uh, the election in New Yorktown just found out how tough it is. If you look here at the Solomons, they've got zero. You know, that's why they've got to have uh, this task force moving here to protect them. Because here comes the uh, uh, strike force. Okay, it's coming next turn. So... I'm going to stop here. This is a good amount of time here, about a, it's a little over an hour. Um, I should be able to whip through these uh, a little faster. Um, and I, I will. I should be able to get probably three or four turns in, uh, depending on what's going on, you know. But right now, I'm just kind of going through the, the, rule, the rules, uh, the, the, you know, getting familiar with everything. And so it's just going to take a little bit of time. Um, but... Uh, I appreciate all of the uh, support, uh, all you guys that uh, subscribe, uh, that means a lot to me. Um, like I said, I'm not here doing this uh, to make money. Uh, I actually don't have any sponsors, if you notice. Uh, I'm just doing this to uh, help other gamers with, uh, I don't know really about the, their gameplay, um, because, uh, you know, uh, some of the decisions I make are probably going to be uh, uh, like, what do you do that for? <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, people have different different thoughts and opinions about what should be done. But I'm here to, to uh, show you the games, uh, let you take a look at them, see them be, get played. Uh, and maybe, you know, it might help with your gameplay and the rules and so forth if I'm doing it right, you know, but if I'm not doing it right, it's, you know, I've got people that point that out and, uh, that's what I want. I mean, if I'm doing something wrong, say, Hey, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get upset about any of that. You know, you don't like a game. You know, you can express that too. You don't like something about the game? You know, somebody didn't like something about some counters of some, one of the games. Hey, there's there's things about games I don't like, you know? 
Would it be a map or counters or uh, maybe a, a, a game mechanic, uh, things of that nature. So I didn't use this battle board, see, down here. I should have even been using that. Um, see, I could have put, uh, you know, Japanese uh, fighter in the cap here. And I could have put the attacking craft here. Uh, or not task force, but they'd be attacking an objective. Um, and uh, I could have used the battle there. I don't know exactly what this thing here is for. It's got two different sides. I got to look at that too. Maybe somebody could point that out to me. What is the purpose of that that uh, counter? Um, but I didn't use that. And then also from, I downloaded from uh, Board Game Geek um, this other battle board. Um, I'm going to show you it. It's uh, pretty colorful. Um, and it gets, has a lot of information on there. Uh, <clears throat> so, I don't really have space to put it anywhere right now. I'd have to put a little table out or something. And I've got them. But, uh, but it's got, you know, uh, some information here. Uh, combat modifiers and so forth. So it's it's kind of it's neat, uh, and like I said, if I had space, uh, I'd probably use it. You know. Um, so, and uh, Africa Corps fourteen is uh, who uh, who uh, designed this and put it out. It says PDF Gamer slash Africa Corps fourteen. So. Must be a fan of the uh, German uh, forces uh, in, uh, in the Africa campaign. Maybe Rommel. So, but there that is. And of course, you've got, uh, I've been using this. Uh, it's uh, One Arms uh, Quick Midway um, Solitaire Player 8. So, uh, it's quick to look and see movement. And, uh, you know, I don't have uh, any leaders at the time. Well, I actually did have a leader. But uh, he could actually add a plus one movement. He could, they could have moved a little further than just the home base there. Uh, uh, this task force down here. Because that's got Fletcher. Um, but I don't think, I think, let's see. I don't think he adds anything. Let me look at that. Let me look at that. Uh, let's see. Oh. Let's see what the what he does. Let's pull back up here. Come back over here. Uh, actually, I could just go over here and uh, zip up there onto. There he is, right there. I might have to try to get a little closer. But uh, here's Fletcher, right here. So, um, okay. Well, yeah, it does does give uh, SBD bonus and a TBD bonus. Huh, I should have used that. <clears throat> I think that would have given me a hit. No, it wouldn't have. I rolled a three, and uh, he has a one. He had a one. York that Yorktown had a one. So, I think we can, what is, who's, who's, which one is, there, it's that one. There we go, how's that? Let me see that a little bit better. Let me get this in here. Uh, let's go up here, there he is. Uh, I've got to get a little closer. I don't think that helps. So that shows the Lexington, Yorktown, and then the uh, carrier, uh, carrier, cruiser, armor cruiser, and the destroyer group, escort group. So, okay, so that's uh, the end of that uh, segment there. Let me pull back here. And, uh, I appreciate, like I said, I was a 
thanking everybody. Uh, so I appreciate the support. Uh, you know, you can hit the like button. That's, if you do, you do, you don't, don't. This is not that uh, big a deal to me. Like I said, I'm not on here to make money. I'm just on here to have fun and provide uh, other gamers with uh, some information about some of these games. Uh, some of them, some I'll play are old games, uh, which, hey, is fine. Hey, you may say, hey, I'd, I'd like that game and go, go find it. So, and uh, you might, you might see, see uh, some of my stuff on uh, uh, eBay. I sell stuff on eBay, but I'm not here to advertise that. So, um, so that was a video. This is video three. Uh, the next video will be, uh, we're going to start with the uh, Solomon uh, operation, which uh, is going, it's the truck uh, operation. I've got a magazine about truck here, uh, but it takes place in like 1940, yeah, 1944, yeah. 10 minutes over truck, and this is where the Hellcats dominate the Zeros. You know, you've got eight Hellcats flaming 21 zeros okay so uh, <clears throat> I guess that's uh let's see that's the marine fighter squadron uh VF 32 patch <clears throat> was designed by Walt Disney Studios wow look at that looks like uh, a Mexican bandit so, uh, and we're, I guess I'll talk about this, uh, a little bit, uh, but like I said, it's 1944, I think, 44, 45, something like that is when this takes place. Let's see if we got a date, yeah, April the 29th, 1944, so, and also these are, uh, Hellcats uh, fighters, not the, uh, Wildcats, so, uh, we might have to look to see what the what the differences are in the uh, in the plane itself, I don't know if they really give you that information. I can look it up though. So we'll take a look at that. Not very many pages there on that, but we'll take a look at that. I guess uh, if I remember. So all right. So I'll catch you in the next video. I'm just rambling here. You know how I do. Uh, try to keep my rambling uh, at the end uh, instead of throughout the game. Uh, that way people don't have to fast forward. You might fast forward through some of my pauses. Sometimes I just have these mental lapses. I'm just like, I don't know. Uh, getting a daze thinking, okay, what am I doing next? But uh, that's what draws some of these out. So I'll try to go a little faster, just get a little bit more video uh, playing in instead of yak, yak, yak. I do a lot of that, so. For somebody who used to be shy, uh, this is uh, quite uh, quite a change. But I've been doing these videos for several years, so uh, <clears throat> I just recently, I guess, started uh, putting them on YouTube. And I wish I had some of my old older videos to to uh, add to the to the collection here uh, but uh, and I've got so many games that I want to get on the table some that I've already played I want to get back on the table it's I can I'm just looking at some right now and uh, man, I'm thinking man I need to I need to get that to the table so uh, I've got stuff stacked around all over the place uh, I do want to get back to uh, the uh, blind sword system. Uh, but man, I've got so many other things. Uh, Kevin Zucker's uh, Library of Napoleonic Battles, uh, Bonaparte and the Piedmont, uh, or what is it? Uh, it's not uh, overruns the Piedmont. I want to. 
but I want that tape. Uh, I want to get to that. There's so many others. Uh, D-Day at, at Iwo Jima. Uh, D-Day at Tarawa. I really like those uh, decision games. So, <clears throat> but uh, this is, like I said, this is the deluxe edition. I don't know how it's different from the other edition. Maybe it's because it's got a mounted board. And I do like the mounted board. And I think the, the whole, the whole, the map itself, I need to talk more about the game. Uh, and it's just a wonderful looking game, you know. Uh, I, when I look, first looked at it, I'm kind of hesitant. I'm not a, a, a point to point uh, player. Um, I know they're probably great games, but I don't know. They're just not uh, something that uh, I'm too interested in, uh, the point-to-point. -point. Um, uh, I know that there's one on uh, Lawrence of Arabia uh, that's a point-to-point -point, uh, game uh, from, I think, Decision Games. It's one of their smaller uh, little uh, folio games, I think. Anyways, it's a solitaire, and uh, I'm, I've really been thinking hard about that. Uh, <clears throat> I've got a book on uh, uh, Lawrence of Arabia, and uh, I really uh, love the uh, Peter O'Toole um, movie um, with Alec, Alec Guinness and uh, uh, Sharif. Uh, grew a blank. I oh, mean, it's got so many great performances in it. <clears throat> um, that's, a, that's a masterful uh, movie, one of my favorites. I can watch that over and over. I mean, I'll watch it probably at least a couple times a year. But uh, that's all. I'm getting off sub subject here. Uh, I wish there was some more movies about, the, you know, about these carrier battles. Uh, you know, they, the, the only one, uh, you got the Charlton Heston uh, that... Uh, Midway, uh, which, you know, I think is a good movie. Uh, I think it actually is use, using some actual <coughs> video uh, or aerial combat footage. But uh, you had a, you've had a couple of, you know, they're not, uh, they don't have a lot of, uh, I guess, a lot of uh, uh, backing or funds, you know. Uh, we had the Pearl Harbor with... Uh, Ben Affleck, uh, and then you had the more recent Midway movie, uh, which I don't know, I was not too pleased with that myself. Uh, but I had Woody Harrelson and so many other actors. Uh, you know, there's n there's not uh, one about the Coral Sea or the, uh, you know, the fighting around the Solomons. Um, the uh, Guadalcanal uh, conflict that would uh, that would be I guess a little bit of that is is in the uh, Pacific uh, HBO series, um, but uh, you know that would make it for a great movie. Uh, I had a, a a great uncle that served in uh, the Pacific. Um, he was actually captured by the Japanese <coughs> and uh, then later rescued, but uh, that greatly affected him. Um, in many ways, but uh, I'll tell that maybe tell that story uh, another in another video. Uh, but uh, so here I'm dragging on yak yak yak. Uh, but uh, Frankie's with me, and uh, we're gonna hit another video here soon. This one's uh, gonna get loaded up right now. And uh, as again, I appreciate your support. Uh, if you like something, hit that like button. I'm not. Uh, depending on it or anything and then comments hey if there's something uh, that you spot that hey uh, I need to do this or that or you just want to say hey I appreciate the video or or I know somebody uh, has mentioned about the